Okay, so chapter 33 is when the staircase hits the fan. Yeah. I have to get all of my books. Give me a second. Oh my goodness. It actually is five. I thought I was exaggerating. I wasn't. Okay. So, and then I was making notes in my packet as I went along. What do you think? Is that too high? Or is that just pretty much appropriate? Two Five scenes. Anyways, okay. So, overall impressions of 33? Where, have our characterizations of Sabinus and Kata been pretty spot on? <laughs> <laughs> Let's recap our characterizations of Sabinus and Kata. Excuse smart me. guy, idiot. Very good. Good. Which one is the smart guy? Cottage cheese. Doesn't have cottage cheese. Very good. Cottage cheese doesn't have cottage cheese for raise. Yes. Okay. So I love like like in the very in the very first line. There's like it's not even subtle. It's just straight up backhanded comment. So then Taturius and so Five Stalker translated it as sense. Which means that he's taking it as a causal relative clause, which is fine. But I really like translating it as a clause of characteristic because then it's like, who is the type of guy to have not thought ahead about anything before? Right? Like, Sabinus, your problem is you don't think things through. Yes? Whereas if you translate it as causal, it sounds like he just has this problem this one time. And based on our very narrow representation of, of Sabinus. Okay, everybody okay with Taturius is Sabinus? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Just, they always tell you what book and chapter it is, or at least they should tell you like book 5, chapter 33 or whatever. And so, even if you don't necessarily remember that his name is Taturius Sabinus, okay? Um, just from looking at the context and looking at like, okay, this is book 5, I bet Taturius, and then it's just a matter of keeping in mind, okay, which one is characterized as stupid? Because that's Sabinus. And then which one is characterized as smart? Because that's Kata. Yes? Okay, so Taturius, who had never thought ahead for it, who had who thought ahead nothing before, okay? And then down below, so that's right here. Okay, that's right here. And then down here, you have Bakata, who had thought, yes? So again, he's like, you could take this as characteristic or causal. I like it as characteristic because then it's like who was the type of guy who had thought through, right? Not just he had thought this through, but he's the type of guy who has like he's the type of guy who talks things through. That's what that's what a classic characteristic tells us. Right? This is a person who has this characteristic. Does it mean that they can do it all the time? No, that's why it's in the subjunctive. Right? Are you with me? Okay. But this one, this time, we have the kata, who had thought these things were able to happen on the journey, and had not been the author of this cause of setting out. Like it wasn't his idea to set out, but he was still the one who thought through like what happens if this goes badly, right? Are you with me? Okay, so let's go back to the beginning a little bit. Um, everybody, did you like your did you like your historical affinities? You have three. Trepidare. Trepidare. Uh huh. Okay. So remember when what? I said I was like I said one of them. Yeah. <laughs> so remember, historical infinitives are the infinitives that are the verbs. Like they should be regular verbs. There's no reason for them to be infinitives other than 
the person is really excited, right? Okay, and they're so excited they're not conjugating their verbs. This doesn't normally happen to Caesar. It kind of shows a little bit of fluster, in my opinion. I could be very, very wrong. Come at me, internet. Okay, um, could be very wrong, but it kind of just shows him. Um, another way to translate them is if they depended on coipid. So Caesar portrays basically making these infinitives. I was right. Basically, Caesar, make, by making these infinitives and not even conjugating them, he makes Tertullius Sabinus appear completely incompetent. Yes? Okay? Like, this guy couldn't have led a line of ants out of a paper bag successfully. Right? All the ants would die. Okay? So, um, so, that's what's going on there. So he's uh, who had not thought through these things before, trepidare, he's afraid, right? Isn't that trepidation? Yeah, he varies about an alarm. This passage always makes me think of, you know the phrase running around with like a chicken with their head cut off? Mm -hmm. That's what this makes me think of. I don't know what the Roman equivalent was to running around like a chicken with your head cut off, but I think it might be Sabinus in book five. Yes, you're running around like Sabinus in book five. Okay, so just yes. Right, stop being a Sabinus. Okay. Um, but anyways, so um, he see so however, whatever he did, he did these things timidly, right? Adverb. And he and all things, so this is actually your subject, all things seemed to defeat him. Okay? Like, he doesn't even get to be the subject. <laughs> right? <laughs> he is literally the object of ridicule here. Yes. Okay? Direct object was Dick Figura. All right? So because um, Plerumque, I feel like that's a word that I should remember. I mean, it's a verb. Mostly, generally, very often, because it is a custom to, to happen to them very often. Um, those who were gathered together to seize a plan in its own negotiation. Okay, so um, I can actually read that exact translation to you. Do you guys want it? Yeah, you want? Okay. Then finally, Tertullius, because he had provided for nothing in advance panicked and ran this way and that and deployed the cohorts. However, these very things timidly, kind of, you have to supply like he did, he did these very things timidly and everything seemed to fail him. Which generally is accustomed to happen to those who are forced off, yes, which generally is accustomed to those, to happen to those who are forced to make plans in the, in, in an actual difficulty. So like in the middle of an actual difficulty. All right, like I am a kata. I think through plan A and plan B. I mean, you've heard my like defense of the classroom plans, right? Okay, we've got the really heavy books that you can use to kind of when you put two of the two of the new millennium books together, they're the thick of a phone book, which means that they're gonna stop a bullet. The okay, the trophies for self defense. Every, like before we exit the building, everyone will grab a trophy, not to save the trophies, but to right. So your arm. <laughs> Okay, yep, you'll, sure, they're good for one sure. solid whack. Okay, I have thought through plan A and plan B and plan C and plan D, and when it comes to it, I'm going to have to go to plan double G. <laughs> but I've already thought through the other 30 plans. So coming up with plan double G, and the, the district has thought has given me like a procedure, right? And I've thought through, okay, so what if that doesn't work? And then you've got all these things, right? Okay. So when they've trained us and we've thought through all these things in our training, okay, so, <laughs> so we really should, that's a good point. Cohen thinks we should be paid way more. Um, anyways, but we've thought about all these things, just every time you hear about a school shooting, you think about, okay, so what do I do with my kids if that happens to me? But we think about it. So then when it happens, you hear about these teachers that hide their kids in cabinets and are able to get their kids out of the get able to get their kids out of wherever because we've thought about it. We've thought through. And that's part of the reason why we have trainings and that's part of the reason why as horrible as it is, 
we think about it because it could, it, like, you have to. You have to know ahead of time what you're going to do. Otherwise, you're going to be a Sabinus. And nobody wants to be a Sabinus. He gets everybody killed. Sometimes I think I'm like a killer, but then I think about it even more, and I'm like, yeah, I'm a Sabinus. <laughs> 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 I make one plan, and if it doesn't work, I'm like, well, well I start pounding my fist and, fist and crying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I usually make a plan B, but I don't really go in depth in the plan B. It's just like, I have plan A, that's where it's always happening. So right. Just right. So, in ipso negatio is like in the within the plan itself, and this is cogutor. They are compelled. Okay. So as is often because which is often, which is very often accustomed to happen to those who are compelled to remember in Latin you capture a plan. Yes, in the English we make a plan, but in Latin you capture it, like it's in the air and you just have to catch it. Okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. like every plan's already been made. Yeah, you just, just have to, to you just have to catch it. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, yeah, right? Well, it makes sense with their mythology. Yeah. With, like, fate. Yeah, you just have to capture a plan. So, but Kata, who had thought, okay, and again, this is subjective. This is actually a syncopated form of cogita with set. Does everybody see that? You just leave out the vi. Why? I don't know. Why do we? Why do we contract isn't, but not amant? <laughs> right? It's just it's what language does. Yes. Okay. Okay, so, but Kata, who had thought that, and so I think Fast Talker said these things, these things should be like your subject of the infinitive and indirect statement. Sorry, I have to flip pages. Like five of them. Right? Okay. So, who had thought these things were able to happen on the journey? And had not been, and had on account of this reason, not been the author of setting out. Like, remember, this is the guy, in case you forgot, Kata's the guy who didn't want to go. Okay, in case it's been a while since, like, recap, in case it's been a while since you watched the last episode, <laughs> Kata's the dude, Kata's the dude who wanted to stay. Okay? So, nulla in re comuni saluti de erat is um, basically saying he did everything he could do in, given the situation, right? That's what it says idiomatically. Like if I were paraphrasing, I would say something like, "This tells us that Kata did everything he could do." Da, 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 da. But it literally says, um, "In no way was lacking de erat." Yes, in what? In no way was lacking for the common safety. And de erat, everybody see how that is, de sum, which is a compound verb. And since it's a compound verb, it takes the What did compound verbs take? Dative. Very good. You got five choices, yes? Dative. Okay. Okay, and in calling, so this is actually a gerundive. How do you know it's a gerundive? Because it's describing something. Hang on. Both of these are gerundives because they're describing. Okay. So basically, what we do is instead of having a gerund take a direct object, we just make it a gerundive because you're going to end up with fewer cases and it's going to make things simpler. Does that make sense? Okay. So remember, I know it doesn't feel like it, but all languages, including Latin, are lazy. Yes? So that's why we have things like, why do you use a gerundive instead of a gerund? Well, do you need a direct object? Yes. Then you use a gerundive and you don't make it a direct object, you use adjective rules up. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, so he was not lacking in calling and urging on the soldiers, 
and Pristabat, and he performed, is what this verb, this book is saying, Chidi book says perform. Let's see. What do you see? Over here. I have to turn the page again. Too many books. Mm -hmm. I used to combine all of these onto my packet, and it took me like an hour. So now I just flip through the pages as we go. Um, okay, so Pristabat, yes. Stands or place before, shows, exhibit, supply, be superior, excel, surpass. I kind of like excels. Yes? He excelled in the duties. <laughs> right? And he excelled in the duties of a general and of a soldier in the battle. <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> it's like, uh, it even right starts there. with pry. Pry da booty. <laughs> Ophikia <laughs> is actually duty, but it doesn't change the fact that we have pry stabat. So. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna run off the side duty? Oh. Deja and Makai are gonna be like, oh my god, I'm so glad I'm not in my classroom. <laughs> okay, kum. How are we gonna translate kum? Did you guys write it down? I think I forgot to. I did not write it down here. Is that cool posent? Yes, it is. Subjunctive and a causal clause. So how are we going to translate it? Very good. Sense is going to give us causal. Okay. Because remember, the only reason we care what kind of cum clause is it is because then that tells you how to translate cum. Yes? Causal, sense. Concessive, although. Um, circumstantial, when. Temporal, when. Is it a preposition? Then it's with. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I put a note on the video that I uploaded yesterday. Remember when I said, I wonder why he used kum say instead of say kum? That's because it's a conjunction, not a preposition. So it said when he or when they, not with them. I fixed it in the notes, which I'll post, and I made a note on the video. But I just wanted to go on here too and be like, I'm so sorry. Even with a cheaty book, I get it wrong sometimes. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Since propter on account of remember remember the last one, longissime yes longissimum longissimo agmene yes there is the longest battle line yes and there is way like they're carrying all of their crap okay so he's like remember. They're in a really long line. Yes? Okay. So, um, all things are, no, no, that's not what it says. Since because of the length of the, length of the line, they were less easily able to attend to everything themselves and see what had to be done in each place. Okay. So, here's less easily. Are you okay with that? Mm -hmm. Those go together. So this is the adverb form of bakale, believe it or not. Okay, so less easily, on account of the magnitude of the battle line, <coughs> they were less, it was, what did it say? I just lost it. They were less easily able, all the way down here, to Obira. Okay, so they were less able, less easily able to attend to everything for themselves. And um what so, and they were, they were less able to provide our kind of to see, and this is then an indirect question. I would call this an indirect question. Okay. They were less able to see what, nope, that's this, that's the, just kidding. What must be done in which location? So they were less able to see what must be done where, right? Because everybody's spread out, nobody can hear each other, they've got all their crap, they're taken by surprise. Sabinus is running around being Sabinus. 
Kata's trying to get everybody together, but he's dealing with having a Sabinus. And also, like, he probably wasn't anywhere close to Sabinus, just based on the next couple of chapters, but that still would throw everyone for a loop. Okay, so he... Hmm? To attend. I can write it better. Is that what I wrote? To attend. Okay. And so they, this is interesting, they now are Sabinus and Kata, according to this book. Okay, so yes, Sabinus would have been giving orders, but he hadn't really thought them through. Okay. So Sabinus and Kata ordered ordered it ordered the pronunci like pronunciare. So <laughs> they ordered to give orders. You like so. that? <laughs> <laughs> but that that's what it is. Like they ordered to give orders. Orders. For us, it's the same word, but for the Romans, those are two very different words, yes? Okay. All right, so they ordered this man to give orders, and then, because you said Romans would just take infinitives and accusative of the people being ordered, right? Okay. But since they ordered to give orders, that puts us into an indirect command. No! Han says it's a volative subjunctive and a substantive clause of purpose. Right? I think I might. Han can say whatever you want with his doctorates. Me with my lowly bachelors. I'm double checking. That's the uh, next one. Hmm? Volative subjunctive is after. He ordered it so that. <coughs> and yeah. He what? This so that part is the, the volative subjunctive. Yeah, subjunctive. that's the volative subjunctive. That's what Hans is saying, the volative subjunctive. So erase and jerk command. I'm sorry. Volative subjunctive and a substantive clause of purpose. That's basically an indirect command, but we'll go with pawns. Ugh. Showing purpose. Can everybody see this okay? Okay. So they ordered them to leave behind their crap. It doesn't really say crap, but impedimenta, yes? <laughs> their hindrances, their obstacles, their baggage, their baggage drink. Ooh, including pack animals. No. Oh. 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 Like we're fine. If we were like, no, not the horses, not the mules. <laughs> Wait, wouldn't they be useful? Like carrying things. Like? Not if not if they're pack animals. Like. Then it's like, hit them on the butt to get them to run away because they're just going to take up the fighting room. It's okay, you can write a fanfic about a man that really loved his pack animal and managed to get himself <laughs> and his pack animal out of the, floor, out of the gorge. <laughs> It'll be cathartic. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Where'd it go? Which plant? I'm going to go with which, but I think that's wrong. I think it's because... Oh, this is although. Fast talker translated as which. Okay, so which plan, although it must not be reprehended, okay? Like, it's a good plan in this situation. Yes, in Eos Modi costume. Like, it must not be scolded. It, however, it did not turn out well, or it turned out badly. Incomode. That could be another PT shirt. Tom and Incomode, I keep it. But maybe we shouldn't. 
<laughs> We're getting to last year's t-shirt. That's in this line. That's in this book. Okay? For it, is this the one that has it? Um, it diminished the hope for our soldiers and it increased our enemies to be more vicious. That's not actually how you translate a lack reorders, but remember, move should move on, yes? Okay, so to be more, oh, here we go. Lively, eager, active, ready, joyous, fired up, in quotation marks. <laughs> yes, we should move on, okay? To be more fired up with, like, at the fight because, because it seemed not without great fear and desperation that this plan was done, right? So like, put on, put on all your crap and get in a circle. That's what they're about to tell them, right? Right? Okay. And I do think the generals would have said, put down all your crap and circle up. Yeah, and they're like, oh, but, oh, no, 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 like, no, I want to keep my things. No, all of it, put it down. Drop and see. Okay. Well, remember.